guys please subscribe my channel and share the video if you think these are the good for the learning in the automation hello guys welcome back this is virin kumar so today in this video session i am going to discuss about the how we can publish the multiple test cases on the sonar cube web server when we are working in the framework that time we have the multiple packages and the multiple test cases that we want to scan and how the sonar cube is showing all the a multiple test cases and the packages on the sonar cube web server so that you can do the analysis for the code and you can publish the report how it is showing on the sonar cube web server so the integration between the sonar cube server and the code will be the easy that i go i'm going to uh, explain to explain this scenario what we have to do first we have to set up a maven java project and then we will run the sonar colon sonar command to scan the maven project and after that we have to log into the sonar cube web server and then i will explain the web report so for the end to end explanation i am just giving the brief on this diagram you can explain suppose that this is my eclipse id and this is on my local systems and i am the testing side okay i am the automation engineer where i am writing my automation code okay and there another side is my sonar cube web server the sonar cube web server is running on the web and that i have access through the port number okay whatever sonar cube server is running we can access through the ip address and the port number okay now how this sonar cube server will scan this eclipse id project okay in my eclipse id i have the three automation test cases and the two different packages okay so to display the report on the sonar cube web server for the scanning purpose we will run the command okay and we need the pom.xml to run this command because if we are working with the maven project then we need the pom.xml okay so to explain this scenario let me switch to my eclipse okay so i have this maven project sonar maven project under this maven project i have the two packages the first package is sonar maven project and in this package i have the two java files okay suppose this is from the developer side and this demo.java i have some code in this java file okay small piece of the code for the java and then i have the one more java file for the login form so this is the login form this is still a small piece of the code that we are going to scan okay and i have also one more package that is the test maven project so in this one also have the one more java file that we want to scan so this is again the small piece of the code of the java and that we want to scan through the scanning command okay so this is the code which is written by the developer okay and the developer having the multiple packages now i want to run my automation script okay that is in under the src test java and to cover this one i have the multiple test cases okay that is written in my test ng file okay so this is my test ng java file and in this i have the test case number 1 test case number 2 test case number 3 so three test cases suppose you have written the some logic for the test case 1 you have written the some logic for the test case 2 and some logic in the test case three and then you have executed these three test cases and after that you want to check the complete scanning static scanning report for out of these three java files okay and that report you want to see on your sonar cube web server okay so this is a scenario which we are going to work on in this video and i have the pom.xml file so i can explain in the briefly the pom.xml file i have the jcoco plugin okay so this is the jcoco plugin the coverage java code plugin okay so you can provide the plugin like this okay rest will be the same and to capture the file okay if you want to capture the file i have the one more plugin coverage plugin so there is the org.jcoco plugin and this will prepare the agent and the prepare the agent the goal will be the prepare agent and then it will uh, give the report okay so the report will be like this 
the report is the aggregate report the aggregate report it will show the aggregate report for all the multiple packages and the multiple test cases okay this is the my eclipse and this is code which i'm going to scan so now to scan this one i have run the sonar cube server so my sonar cube server is up and running so how you can access the sonar cube server you can go to the browser and you can access by default the port number okay this is my sonar cube server 9000 you can see this is my sonar cube is running and as of now i don't have any project on my sonar cube server okay but i want to scan my code and i want that code sonar cube should display the result here so for that what we can do you can go to the project folder where is your sonar cube project so this is my sonar cube project okay this is my sonar cube maven project or your automation maven project there you can launch the command prompt okay you can go launch the command prompt and there you can first type the command mvn clean so that it will clean the project it will remove all the existing you know di um, the files and it will create the new ones so it will clean the all the maven project right so you can wait for some times to be done this command execution okay so cleaning is done and the build is successful okay now the scanning command which i'm going to write is that mvn package package then sonar colon sonar this command what it will do it will run and it will automatically display the result on the sonar cube web server okay this we are doing with the maven project because we have the plugin in our maven pom.xml file that plugin will call and it will display the result on the sonar cube web server okay so it will take time for the scanning purpose so you can wait and watch okay so the build is successful okay if you want to read some information from here so analysis is successful and you can browse this location okay dashboard and sonar cube you can access this project okay it is clearly saying so you can copy this one and directly you can log into the sonar cube web server and if you want to access the report by default report and so that you can find your workspace target sonar in the scanner report and there you can see the four out of four source files have been analyzed so we have the four source files that we are going to analyze and the two files are no cpd blocks so you can find the all the information how it is running the sonar cube file three source files to be analyzed okay three java files found okay and three out of three source files have been analyzed okay so now i want to check this project on the sonar cube web server so i will go to this my sonar cube and then i will refresh this project so now you can see the sonar maven project is showing here okay that you can confirm with the report uh, with the name so you can see that name is the sonar maven project so this is the id of the sonar cube server project and you can check this project is here and we don't have any validation scenario so it's going to pass zero bugs so you zero code smells 14 okay and the coverage is 87% duplication zero line lines 78% okay now uh, you can go to this project to check the more information about this project so how we can check these ones okay so the first you can check the percentage coverage percentage when you click on this coverage percentage will navigate to the total reports and there are the unit test so now you can see the number of three this is a very important we have the three test cases you can see that we have the uh, three test cases 01 02 and 03 
and the same number of the test cases is showing here. So when you click on it, you can check this number, unit test case number 3, it is there. And this is the source file for these three test cases. So you can check this test ng demo dot Java. When you click on this one, it will uh, display the code for this one. Okay, unit test three. So test ng demo dot Java, and this is test case number zero one, test case number zero two, and this is one. Okay. So this cover the sonar. Unit test case is coverage report. This is the coverage report. Okay, now overview. You can go to the overview again and you can go to the coverage percentage. So, this is Sonar Maven project, and in this project, like how you want to see, you can find the list, view tree, tree map. Okay, and you can tree map like this. It will give you the report in the different format okay <coughs> so we have the uh, two projects packages the sonar maven package and test maven package okay that we can uh, go to the src src main java in the src main java we have the sonar main project there are the two java files so the, the coverage is the 95% for this one, demo root Java coverage is 260% and the uncovered line is 2. The same, when you click on this one, it will show the code, okay, which line is covered and not covered. So you can easily see that it's not covered by the test. Okay. And then you can again go to this test maven project, test maven demo root Java, and you can see this one. Okay. So, how you want to see, you can check this one. So, these are the files which we have uh, scanned and you can see these are the coverage percentage. Okay. And if you want to check the code, you can click on the code and go to the source, search main and which code you want to check. This is your Java code, this is your test case code. Okay, lines of the code 78. Code smells, is one percent coverage. So everything you can check. Okay, which one you the information you can check. So for that you can go to the project. So this is how the sonar cube is capturing the uh, code and it is showing the percentage, the coverage percentage and the uh, number of the unit test cases and the multiple packages. Okay. Thank you. In the second video so in the next video, I am going to discuss like how we can do the integration for the uh, GitHub to the SonarCube server. Okay, and then how we can install the developer edition, the free edition for the SonarCube server.